that we'll be able to see what whew, lies underneath. Wendy, you're driving very funny today. Alright, now the guys came out on the other side. So maybe let's just go around here. See if perhaps they are here. Maybe we'll be able to see anything. No. Ah, sorry. There's a big mother here right in front of us. So I think she got a bit of a fright, as did I, because I wasn't expecting her to be there. And hello. Now, where are your little ones? Are they inside? I'm not too sure where where she's where the little ones are. Chitty Chitty Meg, you're wondering who the new mom is. Well, as far as I know, and please, if I am wrong, do not fear to correct me. Um, it's Gwen, actually the new mother of the two tiny little cubs. So I haven't been able to see the cubs, not too sure where they are. Oh, maybe they're on the other side, but she is watching off. Now there's another termite mound not too far from here. So I wonder if perhaps she's actually not heading in that direction. It would be quite interesting to find out. We're just going to keep an eye on her and see where it is that she goes. She is going, she's still sort of walking around, so I wonder if maybe she's not going to go around and come back onto the, onto the mound. Please lead us to them. No, are you trotting off? I think maybe we just got lucky and we caught her just as she was getting ready to go back again on her nighttime activities. Probably gonna do a little bit of hunting, although she's looking quite full to be honest, if this is indeed Gwen. I'm still <laughs> learning in terms of identifying all the different hyenas of the clan that lives around here. But as far as I know, Gwen was the mother of the two new ones uh, that I still haven't been able to see. It's fine, I'm not scared. I'll work this hyena down until we get a glimpse of them. <laughs> I think she has gone off. I'm gonna turn around and I know there's another road that goes around and gives us another view of the other side of the den. So hopefully there will be something in there. Now I can't see behind us so I'm hoping that there's not gonna be anything that I might crash into. Hopefully not. Ooh, it is it is indeed quite exciting to know that the den is still active. I, we, I think I was starting to wonder if there was actually any activity around here because there's, there's been every, everyone's been checking at least once a drive just to find out where they are and if they've been going anywhere and nobody has seen them. So I think one of the guys did see the adult and I think a glimpse of the little ones. But hopefully we'll see them as well. So let's just go around here. If not, then it's always reassuring finding out that they haven't left this particular den and then their little ones could still be in there. But I think, unfortunately, that is not going to be the case. I think she probably just told them to go in and as it started raining, they probably did go inside of the den and then stayed in there. There are no views of them here and the fact that she's gone so gallantly off and just carried on walking around It's probably a good indication that they are indeed safe and sound in the den And that's the only reason why she's probably left them and carried on So being a good mother overall cannot blame her really for putting her cubs <laughs> to bed when it's rainy But oh well we are going to try and see if maybe we could go around if there's not any other hyena. But while I do that, let's go over to Tristan, who's still hanging out with the buffalo. Well, I was hanging out with the buffalo. Unfortunately, the buffalo decided to just do a U-turn all of a sudden and head straight back the way they came. So no more sign of the buffalo. They've crossed back in.